you, sir. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you, sir. Paul Chabot. <laughs> Greetings, Council, uh, residents, folks watching at home or to watch later. Tomorrow morning, McKinney residents will wake up and they will read in their paper or turn into their local news program to finally hear what many of us have been saying for quite some time. It's been nearly two years since Texas State Representative Frederick Frazier was first investigated for multiple crimes targeting my campaign. Eventually, the truth came out today, but not before he did incredible damage to himself, the office of a public figure, and that of a law enforcement officer using hundreds of thousands of dollars in mailers to lead voters to believe I was the one making up the criminal offenses. He went further to tell voters that I never served in the military and then attacked me for being a disabled veteran, if you can believe it, from somebody who's never served themselves. This is the George Santos moment for Texas. It's time for the Texas House to act and expel Frazier, both Democrats and Republicans working together. But Frazier will not resign on his own. His narcissistic and lack of empathy behavior is all too common in the minds of criminals. I know I was a state parole board commissioner and determined parole for thousands of convicts. Frazier demonstrates the same dangerous mindset I witnessed in some of the most sophisticated criminals that grow bolder each time they get away with a crime. Hours after Mr. Frazier was convicted of his crimes today, the Dallas Police Department stated that Mr. Frazier would retire in lieu of possible termination. He will receive a dishonorable discharge. And last year he was placed on the Brady List where disgraced cops are listed because they are no longer considered credible with presenting testimony at a criminal trial. Yet he is our Texas State Representative. After today's conviction in court, Mr. Frazier showed no empathy, no remorse, and instead sent out a press release blaming the victim, myself, cementing his legacy as a criminal. That said, I would like to thank the McKinney Police Department and the Texas Rangers for an incredible investigation uncovering multiple crimes, which the public will soon see on video in the following weeks. I fully support the two candidates that are running against Mr. Frazier, and I ask that we all do the same, that we work together. I'm launching the Texas Integrity Political Action Committee because citizens have lost trust in their local officials. We need more Elliot Nesses to take on the many Al Capones like Frazier. Otherwise, we become no different than the politics in a third world country where dirty cops and politicians rule the land. The Texas we love deserves our best to lead us, and we must demand it for our children's sake, leading by example with integrity. Exodus 23.1 states, the Lord continued, never spread false rumors. Don't join forces with wicked people by giving false testimony. Thank you. Brent Driggs.